Jeb and Suzanne stopping by and saying hello. Hi, atop the Itch Hotel. How are you guys doing? So great. It is such an honor to be here. We are like the world's biggest fans yeah? of yours. Really? Yeah. No. First of all, when do you guys have time, time to even watch us? You guys are world travelers. What's going on here? We are gone a lot, that's for sure. But we love it. We love being on the road. We love flying around. And it's the best. Yeah, wherever we go, we're at home, you know? Uh, tell me about you. You guys are constantly on the road. What are you doing here in Los Angeles? Uh, we are in the middle of, a, of a, just a crazy transcontinental journey. Uh, we started in Punta Gorda, Florida. Mm -hmm. We flew with Allegiant up to Cincinnati. Okay. Then we flew with uh, Frontier out to Denver. Okay. Then we uh, hopped on Spirit to Las Vegas. Okay. So we are going to find out which of those ultra low cost carriers is the best. You guys are always up to stuff like that, right? We we just find this indus industry so fascinating. Yeah. Like so many of your viewers, it's such an exciting and um, fun thing to be a part of. Right. Uh, so we love these kinds of crazy adventures. So that was coming here. Do you to talk about what you're going on to next? I, I think you should take the lead on that. See, it, it's never stopped, right? It's just one video series after another, right? Yeah, I think we've been in five cities this week. Um, <laughs> one night per city. It's oh been it's been a whirlwind. But tomorrow morning, we're headed out early. Uh, we're flying from here to Denver on Delta. Okay. And then from Delta, from Denver to Chicago on United, and then Chicago to New York on American. So we're going to check out all three airlines in one day, hopefully. Hopefully the weather holds up, but everything goes smoothly. So we're going to compare their economy classes. Okay. Yep. By the way, Suzanne and I are we're twins, twins today. here today twins with today. the retro Hey, Jeff, where's your shirt? <laughs> uh, it, it, uh, you know, you can only fit so much in a suitcase. Exactly, exactly. Do you make a version with a collar? No, that's right. You, you, you're you always with your college shirts, right? <laughs> this is a formal affair here, you know? So, obviously, you guys are always producing, you're always shooting, you're always on the go. I, you know, the first question I had for you guys, because I, you know, I kind of had this situation where, you know, we just shot a video yesterday for Qantas. We shot a video two weeks ago. It's like, you know, you're busy. How do you have time to produce and, and edit all this stuff together if you're constantly out shooting new stuff? It's such a great question. It's, um, I think what happens is so many of us get into this, uh, whatever this is, I guess in our case it's YouTube, because yeah. we love something. And then we get into it and realize there's so much work that goes yeah. into it that often uh, the viewers don't, don't always get to see. Yeah. And, you know, you're fortunate that you have your behind the scenes uh, stuff so people get a sense of what you've got going on. Yeah, they're always, it's like, is, let's tune in, is Kevin working? Is Kevin working? Yes. Always, and you it's massive, right? And so we're in the same boat. We, we start making content and then we get so excited about it. It's a matter of how do we, um, how do we produce it all? And it really does take a ton of effort. You know, we've spent most of this afternoon, we got in here this morning, I believe, and uh, we've just been producing or editing this weekend's video. Uh, so it's, we've oh had gosh. you in the background yeah. as we've been editing. So it really is a constant stream. You guys, I mean, if you look at your YouTube channel, you guys have just been all around the world. It, uh, recently you were in South Africa, when was this? That was about two weeks ago. We kind of made it a birthday trip for me. That was my oh. request. We love going out on safari. So any reason to get over there, we're going to take it. My gosh. How yeah. long were you guys down there for? It was about two weeks. Yep. Okay. So that was the video flying uh, Lufthansa on the Queen from South Africa to Frankfurt, and then Frankfurt to Chicago. And they flew first class, like, you know, the first class on Lufthansa. And I was asking Jeb earlier, I said, okay, so that trip was 24 hours in total? 24 hours. In flight, flight just overall, just in the lounges and everything, everything was 24 hours. So I asked him how many, and I'll ask you again, how many of those 24 hours were you guys actually filming? I mean, is there a, a certain point where you're just like, I just want to enjoy this? Yeah, you know, I, I think about this a lot because there's so many amazing experiences we've had that I look back on them and it's just through a camera lens. And so often, not often, but regularly, we, we take pause and we just enjoy a flight for ourselves. We did that today, and it's it's kind of how we recharge. Yeah. Uh, we got into this because, like you, we love this stuff. Right. Uh, but sometimes the work can overtake it. So I think yeah. we walked out of that with like three or four hours of footage uh, that we turned into about a 20-minute video. Okay. Okay. 
That looked like a nice trip. And I have to say, <laughs> It, it is a lot of work when you're putting it together, but you're in first class on an amazing airplane, so we can't be anything but grateful. No. And I, also, yeah. now we have this great memory to like to rem rem remember that flight forever. That is true. That yeah. is very true. Great um, point, yes. I mean, but so you guys, you know, I mean, it just sounds like you're just constantly on the go. Does it does it catch up to you at some point? Does jet lag ever sit in and you're just like, I just can't do it. I just can't move. Yeah. For me, yes. Yeah. It's it's too energizing for me. I mean, it's yeah. it's like, you know, I I had a dream a decade ago to do this, to yeah. live this kind of life right. and um, we're we're able to do it uh, and we're just enjoying every minute of it. So, uh, I have a really weird theory about jet lag that I've shared on the, on, my, on our channel before. Yeah. Uh, and it's really just about how much sleep you get in a 24 okay. hour period. So uh, we do our best to maximize that, uh, but it's just so much fun. Yeah. All right. So can you give us any like uh, hints of what's to come? Yeah, what have we got coming up? So uh, trade secret. Oh. Um, I am about as good at planning my way uh, from here to there as, yeah, I'd fall off the building. So Suzanne, <laughs> what do we have planned? <laughs> Well, after all that first class, we had to, you know, keep it real, get back yeah. to economy. So that's what we've been up to right. this week. Okay. Um, coming up next, I think we're going to Japan later this year. That's oh. been a while since uh, we've been to Asia. Okay. That's all I can think of right now. Yeah, we're, we're constantly uh, sort of looking for what we call anchor points. So videos we really want to create, and right. then we build things around them. Okay. So we found that opportunity for the Lufthansa, uh, the Queen of the Skies, and we were kind of building a whole network around that. And we'll yeah. do that with more trips as they come up. Yeah, I, I checked out your uh, behind the scenes in Frankfurt. What an airport that is, wow. And how many days did that take for you to like shoot something like that? So it was about a year worth of planning wow. uh, and coordination and then two days of solid filming. Okay. And, and we walked out with a lot of content. Yeah. So that was a really amazing video. Speaking of, you guys shoot this all on an iPhone. All on an iPhone. How do you fit that much footage on an iPhone? Do you have like external like hard drives or something? Or how, what's your process? I mean, you shoot in 4K 60, so I'm sure it takes up all the space on your phone, right? It does. So um, I, uh, as Suzanne does the planning, I get to do the filming and the editing, and uh, it's all on an iPhone. Um, I'm constantly, as soon as we produce a video, I back it up, okay. uh, and then I delete it off the phone. Okay. Uh, but you know, I'm I, I'm really just shooting really short clips, and you know, yeah. you're you're creating massive uh, yeah. amounts of data because you've right. got such rich content to right. cover. Right. Uh, we're just really short clips. Okay. All right, so anybody can do it then. Anybody can do it. Okay, because I look at your stuff and I'm thinking, why are we spending all this money on this high-end equipment when <laughs> the iPhone just looks just, just as good? I mean, you've got a steady hand. I mean, that looks really, really good. Well, I'm not quite sure I could capture what you're capturing here without this equipment. So you, well, you nailed no, this. Yeah, you nailed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So out of the, all the stuff you guys have done in the last year, what, do you, what one stands out as like the top? trip to, and maybe video that you guys have created in the last year because you guys have done a lot I mean we saw you last was it last fall it was in October October yeah, yeah. I think mine was Singapore Airlines A380 we flew all the way from Singapore all through the, Frankfurt yeah. to JFK in first class if you've seen yeah. that those like double beds yeah. it's sick it was an amazing experience I just had to pinch myself because it was so fun yeah. I would say my favorite uh, video or memory that we created was actually one you mentioned, and it was Frankfurt Airports Revealed. I love those videos because as amazing as these experiences we have on board planes are, yeah. it's the professionals who make it happen. Yeah. Everybody working in this industry to create uh, uh, the unbelievable opportunities that aviation uh, provides for us uh, is, is something we really love to highlight. And yeah. that was what was great about that Frankfurt video. There's so many career fields mm -hmm. in aviation yeah. that don't necessarily get the uh, uh, the attention that pilots or, or flight attendants, for that matter, get. Right. And so we love to highlight those those folks because they're making it happen. Yeah, they are making it happen. They are making it happen. I mean, it's, a, it's like its own city. You know, these airports are a, a city and within a city. So well, I loved hearing yeah. about the, uh, the live fish coming in on Qantas oh, yeah. earlier. I mean, somebody has to, that's a job to inspect that. Yes, oh yeah. Right? I mean, case by case and bag by bag, you know, they're looking in, in the, the fissure in there, you know, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> who would have thought? Who would have thought? So yeah, it's, it's to, for us to take our video cameras, whatever size it may be, and, and document these, these little elements, nuggets, as you would call it, and, 
in the media world. Yeah, it's it's very. I think it's 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 good for the public to know. You know, it, it eases a lot of people too as well, right? Sure. I, yeah, I know a lot of folks uh, watch your channel or watch our channel uh, who are maybe a little afraid of flying, and, yeah. and this gives them the sense of just how safe it is and how yeah. many people are working hard mm -hmm. to make sure that it remains so. Yeah. All right. So your channel. It's getting bigger and bigger. I mean, even bigger than the last time we saw you in October. Where does it go from here? Future plans? You know, what, what, what we have always said is we will continue to make content as long as it's fun and we're having a good time doing it. We uh, just really uh, want to continue sharing uh, our love for this yeah. and uh, we'll keep doing it as long as we can. I mean, for really, it's not about the numbers for us, and right. I think a lot of YouTubers say that, and I always wonder, do they really mean it? And for us, it's just, it's an opportunity to, to reach a broader audience with our enthusiasm for what it is right. we can produce. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, as long as you guys are having fun and your bodies don't say no, like I'm feeling recently. Eey. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I, I heard you saying this is uh, comfortable. Well, I mean, my North Carolina blood is boiling up here. Uh, oh, are you hot up here? I'm hot, and I'm, I'm oh, afraid boy. I'm going to slide out because I've got so much sunscreen on. You all just have got to appreciate how hard this man works for us. Uh, this is nothing that it was last week. No, this is this is cool. Trust me. We you picked guys, the right week. You should come up here like an, uh, an hour from now. When that sun goes down, oh, it is extremely nice. Extremely nice. <laughs> well, thanks, you guys, for stopping by. If you haven't yet, let everyone know where you are on social media. Yeah, so head over. Uh, if you, you just search uh, Jeb Brooks, J-E-B. B R double O K S. You'll find us uh, over there. But don't leave this stream. Wait until we're done. We're done streaming. Oh, there but, you go. There hey, you thank go. you so much, Kevin. No, for having thanks, us on. you guys. Oh, God, I've got to say hi, mom. Yeah. Hi, Lindy. Oh, yeah. Your parents are watching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Suzanne, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks, Kevin. Jeb, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. You're not leaving without goodie bags. Oh, by we'll the way. take them. We'll take them. All right. Em. All right. Good